And then it's going to be cleaned up by John C. Gardner Johnson, who is always in the middle of something. You know, he yep. is one of those guys for sure. Two of their most physical players on defense, Demario Davis and then C.J. Gardner Johnson. You see C.J. Gardner Johnson making the play out in the flat. When you're talking about this secondary, you're talking about one of the best secondaries in the NFL. Minus Malcolm Jenkins here tonight. But C.J. Gardner Johnson, I can tell you this, we'll be calling his name a lot tonight. One of the fastest, most physical, fearless nickel corners in the entire league. It's not just his great play at nickel, but it, it, you feel his intensity, his leadership. He's always chirping. He's one of the smartest nickels in the game, and I think it's really telling that Dennis Allen doesn't feel like he's got to put Marshawn Lattimore on Jalen Waddle. He is just fine with Gardner Johnson in the slot all night. Jay Gardner Johnson is one of those guys who just does a tremendous job, and coaches always want to know that guy. Who's our nickel because that's who we want to attack or that's who we want to avoid. Hey, C.J. Gardner Johnson, he is, look, every game that you watch in the New Orleans Saints, he shows up in the run game, in the pass game, man zone, he can do it all. 30-10, territory, of course. Brandy pressure, escapes, and throws on the run, he's intercepted. Gardner Johnson cuts underneath. They've turned Brady over twice. Eight interceptions in these regular season matchups the last two years for the Saints. And the New Orleans Saints got the beam, are knocking on the door of a Godwin here coming out of the break. He gets grabbed just a little bit, but Tyler Johnson, who doesn't clear through there fast enough, is why you've got the interception. C.J. Gardner Johnson's able to come off of Tyler Johnson. You see, Tyler Johnson's not able to get through the middle of the field, which allows Johnson then to come off of him. With just one timeout left. Darnold intercepted. Picked up by C.J. Gardner Johnson. What a series for him. He had the sack, and now the pick to seal it. Got to repeat myself again, but the team that plays the best defense will win this game. And ladies and gentlemen, there it is. And with this pick, the Saints still have hopes to get into the playoffs. Not a good throw. Gardner Johnson just did a nice job. And they're just sitting back there. It was behind him as well. Third pick of the season for Gardner Johnson. He's in the holiday spirit. Better to give than receive. Here's Waddle, brought down for a loss. And it's Gardner Johnson on the spot loss of two. It's not just his great play at nickel, but it, it, you feel his intensity, his leadership. He's always chirping. He's one of the smartest nickels in the game. And I think it's really telling that Dennis Allen doesn't feel like he's got to put Marshawn Lattimore on Jalen Waddle. He is just fine with Gardner Johnson in the slot all night until Miami starts pushing. Off the edge, oh. look out. CJ Gardner Johnson gets home unabated. You gotta hurry up, get back. Get him out. Boy, he came in, no one even stopped him. Nah, just, and it's well done too. So you see Christensen is forced to block to the inside. That's because that inside defender took the inside and turned him. 
and then he couldn't even see it on the outside of him. Carter Johnson did a, did a nice job making the tackle. You're coming clean like that, you have to make the play, right? And he did. We just said somebody... Second and four, Saints rush four. Ryan looking short and an immediate stop of Mike Davis by C.J. Gardner-Johnson. Brings up a third down after the one yard line of scrimmage. That is one thing that Josh McDaniels pointed out a couple of times he's very good at is handling that at the line. C.J. Gardner-Johnson with the stop on Jacoby Myers. Second down coming up. A lot of times when you talk to coaches, they say, hey, who's the nickel? Well, this is the nickel right here. C.J. Gardner-Johnson is one of those guys who just does a tremendous job. 40. Gino throwing on the run. And let's see if that was intercepted. No, it wasn't. C.J. Gardner-Johnson. That was just a prayer throw there. And yeah, it looked to Oof. me. We might have a pick there. That ball moved. Oh, he lost control. Oh, as, yeah. he, as he rolled out of bounds, yeah. it looked like he lost control. He definitely see it moving there, and it then it comes did. out. Wilson taking a deep shot for the end zone, and it is incomplete. The coverage by C.J. Gardner-Johnson, but a flag comes out. Quan Alexander. Looking to his right. Tungabaloa throws it up for grabs, and it's knocked away. Zones and sticking to their targets. On third and three. Pressure up the middle. Ryan steps away. Throws into traffic, and it's incomplete. Trying to fit it into Kyle Pitts, who has just one catch for one yard today. He knows where he's going with this ball. He had already fired and was ready to go break up that ball, making it almost impossible for Pitts. Watch formation to the left, third down and four. Ryan over the middle, and that's broken up. He was looking for the tight end, Hurst. C.J. Gardner-Johnson makes the play, and the Falcons send out the field goal unit. C.J. Gardner-Johnson read it beautifully. Two hands on it, dropped it last week. That was an interception against Brady. Yeah, I know, he's kicking himself. That was a man in this game. Fred Warner and Bobby Wagner, Blake Martinez, guys like that stick out. Dangerous ball, and that's going to seal the deal. That'll be a complete. Got to bring a fourth down instead. C.J. Gardner-Johnson is looking for the pick. Fourth down. Just the effort. So close right here. Driving on the ball. You can see it bounce off the ground, but that's a good sell job. No, no, I got it. <laughs> it's I'm number one. Smith to throw. Sideline, and nobody's got it. But Gardner Johnson was there with Swain, and it's fourth down. That was your 50 50 ball. Well, this is a very, very good nickel corner, CJ Gardner Johnson. Just watch him, watch how he maintains leverage throughout the course of this down. Inside. Now slice underneath. Yeah, the line of scrimmage. Talk about Roma lets it fly, and it looked like Kasiki was grabbed by Gardner Johnson, but there's no flag. I like that play from, from two. Oh, he identified there's no safety. I'm going to find my matchup. I'm going to find my tight end, Gasecki, at six foot six. And Gardner Johnson, that was a push off, definitely. Yeah. So more. Contest for you on Fox next week.
tonight has really been pretty clean. Swallowed up, brought down. And it's C.J. Gardner-Johnson back for this New Orleans defense. They are suddenly a lot healthier with the return of Marshawn Lattimore, C.J. Gardner-Johnson. They're still dealing with injuries at multiple levels, but they're happy to have those two. Oh, the 17th meeting all time. <laughs> Davis got to the backfield, swinging Collins around to make sure his teammates would get to him next. Loss of one. Two of their most physical players on defense, Demario Davis, and then C.J. Gardner-Johnson clean. I mean, just watch these guys. Here's Demario Davis. Look, there's C.J. Gardner-Johnson. Just watch these two throughout the duration of the play. There's one. Different story here, 31 to three, New Orleans. Third down and one. Dylan has to fight for it, and a flag comes in at the end. He didn't get it. He's coming from outside in, in motion, and he's got to stay up above the waist in order to make that block. So good call by the officials seeing it. Alex Collins, first carry since the first drive. A couple times, but they start from the 42. Damian Harris, nothing there. Loss of two on the play. C.J. Gardner-Johnson in the thick of it again. Three tackles for loss. Tenth play of the drive for Washington. Carter has some room near side. Carter, that'll be a first down run. I like this drive by Scott Turner. A little jet sweep, get it too. Your returner, let him get in space and utilize his, that's just like he's running a kickoff return, a punt return there. Let him utilize more. And Cam Jordan have to play big tonight. Miles Gaskin now in the backfield. Tugabaloa steps up after serving and throws and completes. There's Jalen Seven and 16. Four-man rush, Ryan, fought by Zacchaeus. And Zacchaeus can't get to the 25. He looks to throw for the first time, and has Tyler Johnson to set up third and short. Now Tom Brady. So it's Steve Gleason watching from the stands. Jones handing off Saquon Barkley. Not much on first time. I think I got that. The 33, clean pocket. Brady completes it. It has been the target. Third and seven. Tua loads and fires, and it's Waddle. Hey, Gardner Johnson, and Tua sees it immediately and gets a first down. I like the approach they're taking with Jalen Waddle. You've seen him line up in numerous different positions in the backfield. Number yeah, well, the next high is Aaron Rodgers, 429 among active guys. Here's the screen for Jones. And he gets a few. The thing is, when can you grip the ball and start to do that? Swain. Jets trying to get something going offensively. And they start this drive on the ground with Pirine out to the 30-yard line. So Pirine, they really miss in this opening quarter. How can this offense capitalize? We need a couple of field goals to show for their efforts and check the flag. Second down and seven. Collins again. About a yard short of the duck. Saints bring more pressure. Jones gets rid of it fast, and he's got a connection to Myers. We have everything clear and obvious, though. Uh, we found Keen again for weighing in, although he's on top of things for us. Second and ten. Sicky. Makes a man miss, tries to make another miss, goes airborne. 34 yard connection. And now on first down from the New Orleans 40. The handoff to Patterson. Not much as we see the dirty bird on week 18. Ruin the Saints chance. There's Mike Davis with the carry, and Davis tripped up at the 30. Top four rounds, and they haven't played up to expectation yet. Second and 11. It's Waddle. Second down and nine. Gino running and throw it in the way. That 
one complete to Anderson, but a quiet afternoon for him, and he can't get anywhere near the line to gain. Marshawn Lattimore with yeah. the stop. To the edge. Really well done. Really well done. C.J. Gardner-Johnson, that's who they were attacking. They were going to try to get the, the, the crossing route with Anderson all the way across the field. But Gardner-Johnson was all over it. Anticipated it and jumped that coverage, and there was no place to go. So you go play action to the top side, and then you bring...